She was four years old the first time a man looked at her the way a man looks at his wife on their wedding day. Little girls are supposed to dream about being models and doctors and veterinarians. Instead, she fought sleep eyes wide with terror of another night greeted by her stepfather's shadow. He was a real monster in her bedroom, and mom, she was too fragile, too selfish to accept the truth that her little girl's innocence had been stolen one night when her boyfriend decided she wasn't good enough anymore. She was a walking corpse. And since the little girl never had a real father, she accepted his advances because he always promised her his touches were acceptable because he loved her. When you don't know yourself and you don't love yourself, you will fall for anything that sounds like love and feels like love. 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 She was a walking corpse. She was a walking corpse, stained with the fingerprints of strangers. And all she wanted was to walk the earth without the heaviness, the weight of all the men who tore a piece of her and took it with them. She never made it to see her 18th birthday. This is for the pain, for the stains that bath water won't wash away, for the scars up on the hearts of the fatherless child. This is for the girls objectified instead of praised like queens. This is for the agony. This is for the agony, growing up without a father, but all you really want is love and you don't understand love. So one day when some guy stops you in a train station or a street corner and tells you you're beautiful, you are quickly intrigued. You like the fact that someone notices you and you will do anything to feel like he's everything and he promises you everything and the things he convinces you to do, they don't seem that bad if afterwards he shows you how much he loves you. Your morals are abandoned on that sidewalk where you turned your first trip. Your beauty is left in that hotel room where some stranger touched you like his girlfriend and then left the money on the nightstand. And every night, you die again, compromising your worth for what your pimp calls love and security. The hustle, the street lights, the schemes, it never seems worth it, but you have the liquor to comfort your fears. And as long as your profits meet expectations, you will have what you always wanted your whole life. Love.
Love that doesn't feel right, but it's all you think you're worth, so you take it every day. You sleep when the sun comes up, rise when the sun is down. Conceal the torment with makeup and stylish hairdos. Put on your best outfits, something arousing because you have to make them happy. The men, the tricks, the pimps. She never made it to see her 18th birthday. Little girls are supposed to dream about being models and doctors and veterinarians. sneakers for a Chanel purse and pumps. This is for the 16-year-old girl kidnapped by a gang of men on her way to school and held captive in a house right next door to you. This is for the 20-year-old girl who took her last beating today because she couldn't bring herself to let another man hold her down and violate her. We are all slaves for love, degrading ourselves for acceptance of a man that's the closest thing to a father figure we've ever known. We were once just girls with aspirations and a small piece of hope. Now who will notice us? Who will save America's daughters? <laughs> uh.